Okay, this video is going to be about what's called the law of cosines. And I'm sure a lot of people uh, know the Pythagorean theorem. And that says if you have a right triangle, then you can relate the two sides um, by squaring them, adding, adding them together. And that'll equal the um, hypotenuse squared. Uh, the law of cosines is just a generalization. It, it, it relates um, the sides of a triangle no matter what type of triangle it is. And basically, here's the formula at the bottom. Um, it says if you want to find one of the sides, say c, um, we use the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. So to me, kind of the thing that I notice, whatever side I'm solving for, say it's c, you use all the other sides, um, a and b, a lot. The angle that goes in there um, is going to be the angle that's opposite side C. So, um, but again, practice it a few times and I think uh, uh, you'll get a hang of it. So, here's one little simple problem. It says, suppose you walk five miles east and then you walk three miles northeast. We'll assume directly northeast. And we want to know how far you've walked. Well, I don't know. Let's draw a little picture. So you walk five miles due east, and then you walk northeast three miles. Okay, so this part will have length three. And we want to know how far you are away from home, so my bad little triangle. So again, if you started here, if that was home, well, we want to know if you were going to walk, you know, in a straight line, how far would you have to go to get back home? Okay, so again, here we know two of the lengths of the triangle. It's 5 and 3. Maybe we'll call the missing side C. And we're trying to find the length, um, we're trying to find the value for C. So to do this, it says, whatever, again, whatever side you're trying to find, you need the angle that's, um, that's opposite to that side. So I need to find the measure of this angle that's opposite side C. But if you think about it, again, you know, if you go if you go northeast, well, you're basically making a 45 degree angle, um, right? If you go due north, that would be 90 degrees. If you kept going east, it'd be zero degrees. You wouldn't change. So if I go northeast, um, I'm gonna uh, change by 45 degrees. Well, we know that the uh, that this angle plus the interior angle is going to have to add up to 180 using geometry. So we can deduce that this angle would be 135 degrees. And now all we have to do is just set up the problem and kind of grind away on it. So it says c squared. That's the side we're interested in finding. So it says c squared. It says we use the opposite sides. So 5 squared plus 3 squared. Then we always subtract two times the sides that you know, 5 and 3. And then we take cosine of, again, the angle that's opposite of the side that we're trying to find. So cosine of 135 degrees. And at this point, it's just a little bit of arithmetic. Um, 5 squared is 25, plus 3 squared. Um, so 25 and 9 will be 34. Um, 2 times 5 times 3, that to me looks like 30. Cosine of 135 degrees, that's going to be negative root 2 over 2, unless I'm mistaken. And if you simplify this down, this is roughly going to be um, roughly going to be equal to 55.213. Okay, and again, notice we found c squared in this case. So c squared is roughly equal to this value 55.213. Well, if we take the square root of both sides, square root it, square root it, we'll get that c is roughly equal to the value 7.431 miles. Okay, and certainly that seems like a reasonable answer. I mean, if I had gone five miles um, east and then another three miles directly east, that would have been eight miles away. But I think I'm going to be a little bit closer because I started walking at this... Uh, this this in this northeast direction. So um, again, nothing too crazy. Just kind of one more random formula that you got to commit to memory. So if you have any questions or comments about this, let me know, and I'll be happy to try to steer you in the right direction.